Hey guys, Curly Susie here from Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. In today's quick video, I'm just going to give a little update about my life and my family and my YouTube channel. Yeah. Before I get into the video, I just want to say two things. Number one, yes, my hair is straight. Um, I would say like once a year or so, I just get the urge to straighten my hair. It's been exactly three years this month since I started the Curly Girl Method and my hair is kind of like growing out from a short haircut and I've been trimming my hair myself and I was just really curious to see what my hair actually looked like so that is why my hair is straight. When I do straighten my hair, which again is about once a year, I leave it like this for five or six days or whenever my hair starts to feel like my roots are a little bit greasy which really takes a long time to happen for me because I have really dry scalp. But anyway, this is what my hair looks like straightened. I just gave myself a quick blowout and ran over it with my sister-in-law straightener because I don't have my own straightener anymore. Um, and this is how it turned out. And I actually went for a run yesterday and put my hair in this silk scrunchie and it didn't really ruin the style too much. It's a little bit frizzy up here, but other than that, it looks pretty good. Here comes the first interruption. See? What kind of music does she like? She likes rock music. She likes all music. She likes so many music. After straightening my hair, I realized a couple of things. Number one, I definitely still like my hair curly better. Um, but there are definitely some pros to having your hair flat ironed. And I can't believe I'm saying that, but I think I'm going to make a quick video about like the pros and cons of my new curly hair styling routine versus the old way I used to style my hair, which is like this. And some of the pros are going to be very obvious, like, you know, I'm not damaging my hair anymore. Um, but some of them are a little bit more obscure and like some things that I want to talk about and some things that some of you might be interested in, especially if you're somebody who's on the fence or keeps going back and forth between heat styling their hair and wearing their hair naturally curly. My baby's crying. I will be right back. I have both kids home with me today, um, which is kind of the usual right now. There's Hank. And so we may have some interruptions in this video, but this might be as good as we're going to get for the next couple of weeks. Hi, buddy! Um, anyway, so yeah, I'm going to make a video, just kind of a fun chit-chatty video about different hair routines and kind of the benefits of keeping your natural texture versus the pros and cons of kind of fighting with it all the time. Um, and so that's kind of it. I do have some sort of big news about my hair channel and that is that I finally made a solid decision about what I'm going to do moving forward. So I, I know that I do a few update videos a year and I talk about this a little bit but when I started my YouTube channel I was doing it for fun. It was 100% for fun. I didn't care about how many subscribers I got or how many views I got or how many likes I got or anything like that. I was purely making videos and communicating with you guys and having a lot of fun doing it. Well, my channel grew kind of quick and I started to make a little bit of money doing YouTube, which I liked because that allowed me to work a little bit less in my other job and be home more with my kids. Um, but then I got to the point where I was starting to consider this channel uh, a little bit like a business and that was really fun for a little while because I sort of felt like I was becoming a YouTuber or an influencer which is a really smart career move I think for a lot of people um, at this point in time. Hi buddy! But I stopped enjoying it as much and I found I was starting to make videos because they were the videos that I thought I should make. So if there was a video that was really popular, like for example, people talking about the Diva Curl controversy, I felt like I had to make a video about that. Um, but that's not something that I was overly interested in at the time. And then the other thing that happened is I started to vlog and make videos about my lifestyle. So like non curly hair related stuff, which I do enjoy doing. But every time I would post one, I would kind of feel weird. Like, am I going to turn off the subscribers that I built, you know, on this curly hair channel because they're here primarily for curly hair content. So I was, I wasn't having as much fun 
I was trying to strategize a little bit too much for somebody who would like to keep this a hobby and I feel like my channel suffered a little bit and I know that there are a lot of you watching this video right now who like all of the content so maybe you have curly hair but you're a mom or you're into fitness or you're into like lifestyle stuff and you like my vlogs and that is great and I really really appreciate was that a burp I really really appreciate you watching all of my videos but I also know that there's a lot of people out there who really come to the channel curly Susie to see curly hair stuff so what I have decided to do and I've been thinking about this for over a year now is I have decided to start a second channel if I was somebody who really cared about I think like my numbers I would be more apt to um, maybe just change the name of this channel to Susie Hardy and then branch out but I like this channel the way it is and I would like to have a separate channel that is more random. So this second channel will be for myself and for any of you out there who are just interested in my lifestyle stuff. I just feel like, like I'm gonna be 37 this summer and like in a couple of months and as a 37 year old mom of two who lives in kind of like a unique part of the world who is trying to incorporate fitness into my lifestyle and trying to balance it all I think I have a lot of valuable videos that I could make and I'm also doing a few interesting things I guess in the next few months we're going to eventually be renovating our small house and we're doing that on a bit of a budget um, I'm getting back into road cycling which is something that I think a lot of women are interested in trying but they don't really know a whole lot about it or how to get started um, and I'm just trying to balance <laughs> being a mom and playing with my kids and being there for my kids and being fun and raising them the right way and then also balance like my own personal hobbies and all of you know the goals that I have for my own lifestyle that are not mom related like getting back into cycling and running and things like that and being a youtuber and just all the hobbies that I have so um, that is kind of going to be what my second channel is about I think I'll probably call it Susie Hardy I'm not sure, um, but that channel will not be, I don't know what I'm trying to say, I just know that I won't be posting certain things on certain days. I don't really do that here anyway because I, I find I don't have the time, but on that channel it will be random. So I feel like I'm going to call it like Susie Hardy and call it like lifestyle, mom stuff, fitness, cycling, home rentals, house cleaning, tips, I don't know, like I'm just going to make videos about whatever I feel like making videos about on that day um, and that kind of brings me to like another little update so this fella is three months old and I have yet to upload his three month update and I erased his two month update by accident and I really did like that video because Wilson's in it a lot and I think they were both really cute in it so I will re-upload that probably on my new channel but um, an example of something that I've really been wanting to make a video about is the recovery process that I had to go through after the birth of this guy. So I ended up with a fourth degree tear, a lot of you know about that, and a lot of you, and I don't blame you, are not interested in hearing about that. But there are a lot of women out there who I think would benefit from a video about the recovery process, the healing process, and how I'm doing three months after going through something so horrible. and spoiler alert I'm doing fantastic obviously I'm buying a road bike and getting back into cycling I feel like my life has gone back pretty much to normal but uh, I did go to physio and, and there was a lot to it this baby loves sucking on his hand like Wilson never ever ever did that neither one of them would take a soother but this guy loves sucking on his hand don't you hanky look at this hair in the back like what is that um, anyway, so like that's a video that I've been really wanting to make because I think it's valuable and I do like talking about women's health issues and stuff like that because I feel like there's not that many people who talk really openly about it online and those types of videos have helped me in the past, especially with my miscarriages and stuff. So yeah, I really want to make that video, but if I haven't posted a hair video in weeks, I don't want to post that as my next video that's just kind of the way it works on this channel and that is another reason why I want to start my second channel the other reason I want to start my second channel is because I do like doing product reviews for random things because they are things that I want to try or that 
I want to own. So for example, companies that make swimwear, purses, clothing, different things like that contact me all the time and they want to do sponsored videos with me where they pay me to hey. try out their products. And if it's something that is fashion or hair or beauty related, yeah, I can probably do that on this channel. But I just don't want to water down this channel with advertisements, especially for things like Fit, Fab, and Fun, which I really enjoyed getting. But again, I couldn't keep, I couldn't keep up with being a Fit, Fab, Fun partner because I just found that those videos eventually would become annoying to a lot of you guys. So that other channel is basically for me to not think about and just post whatever I feel like posting, whether it's because it's something that I just feel like posting or because it's a product that I want to try that is not related to curly hair. Um, and I will try as hard as I can to make that not be confusing and to keep up definitely 100% first and foremost with the curly hair content on this channel. Um, and I'm already planning my next few videos here. Right now with the quarantine going on, it has been really hard because I have um, this beautiful baby and a three month old who is very busy, very cute and very busy. He'll probably be in here in a second, but I have both of them at home and it's almost impossible for me to make videos other than just these sit down chit chat videos. Um, but now that we have a bubble, meaning that two families can merge together and um, kind of coexist without social distancing, I have the opportunity to have somebody watch, oh, oh no, to watch Wilson a little bit. And so I'm going to be able to make more videos. He is drooling so much, both of my boys we're like, look, his shirt is almost soaked. Like he needs a bib already. Um, very, very drooly babies. And he might be showing like er early signs of teething. I don't know, he's only three months, but who knows. Hi, buddy. Um, anyway, so I think that's all I'm gonna say right this second. And I'm just gonna go check on Will and then I'm gonna come back with the rest of the update. Um, I'm back. I'm just feeding mister. Anyways, uh, what was I gonna say next? So I talked about my channel, getting back into cycling, postpartum update. Did Oh, hair related. This is what I wanted to talk about. My hair's falling out. So it's probably hard to tell right now because my hair is styled this way and it looks um, pretty thick and healthy. And it's still healthy looking and shiny, but it's definitely falling out. Like I mean, too big handfuls of hair every time I get in the shower. And this happened at exactly the three month mark with my pregnancy with Wilson as well. And I ended up with two really, I wouldn't call them bald spots, but very, very thinned out, balding kind of patches on this side and this side is worse, which I guess it's good that I wear my bangs like this, but um, on either side of my head. I just shot a sponsored video. I know I don't do very many sponsored videos at all, but I just shot uh, a sponsored video for the hair supplement company um, of the supplements that I've been taking for a long time. They're called uh, St. Tropica Hair Growth Vitamins, and I'm gonna post that video soon. And in that video, I have to measure my hair because in two months time, I'm gonna reshoot again and we'll see how much my hair grew uh, between the two videos. But anyway, in that video, you can really, the way I have my hair styled and I, and I hold it back for the camera, I can't do that right now because I'm holding a baby, but um, you can really, really see how thin my hair is getting. Here, so this is the part of my hair that's starting to thin a little bit with this postpartum hair loss. And so I'm very interested to see if they make any kind of difference. My, you know, my prediction is that my hair is going to grow and that my hair feels a lot healthier now that I'm taking the vitamins, but I can't see them doing anything to either reverse or stop the postpartum hair loss because that's something hormonal that happens. But I have been proven wrong in the past. So although I'm skeptical, I am happy that I'm taking them and I hope that they make, I don't know, at least a little bit of a difference because maybe the B vitamins and the B12 and vitamin D and all that is gonna help me out a little bit. So I think that's all that I have to say. I hope that everybody is staying positive during this whole COVID-19 ordeal. It's easy for me to say because I'm in Nova Scotia and I feel like our government really cracked down on everything and we haven't had too, too many cases, which I'm happy about because my husband is uh, working in the largest hospital in our area and he works 12 hour shifts. He's in the OR, which is 
um, a little bit more controlled or, or a lot more controlled I should say but it's still scary having him go to work every day but anyway I'm gonna wrap this video up um, the only thing I might add is I might get Wilson to come on here for a second so he can say hi but I hope you like this video this is a chit chatty video about like where my channel is going and, and what I'm hoping to do so your input is really important to me if you have any questions or any ideas for future videos or any concerns or questions about me having two channels I really really appreciate the feedback and I do get some that's negative and some of it I completely ignore because it's somebody being a jerk and some of it I really take you know take in and try to use that to improve my channel so I have no problem with you guys saying Susie I don't want you to post videos on this channel that aren't about curly hair or Susie I subscribe to this channel because of the mom content and you know I don't really think it's a good idea for you to start a second channel or if people say Susie like this was a great video but the audio in it was bad or the music was distracting or I love comments like that I really do because otherwise how am I going to improve as you know I would consider myself an artist now because I am filming and editing my own videos um, and that is the part of this another part of this that I really really love I love connecting with you guys and I love the actual process of making the videos anyway I will talk to you guys very soon in my next video subscribe to my channel if you like this video and uh, give it a thumbs up if you did like it and a big old thumbs down if you didn't like it and I'll see you very soon in my next video bye